Ao, shalom, shalom aras tafari, ine aras yadinos tafari ne. Greetings. I am Wendim Yadon, otherwise known as Ras Ayadonis Tafari of the Lion of Judah Society, Yehuda Moa Andesa. And we want to speak on the subject matter of the hood. The hood. Um, first of all, um, this is in memory of Abuna Petros. Abuna Petros. He's the one pictured on your left hand who was murdered in the 1930s during the fascist, racist, anti-Christian invasion of Ethiopia, of Christian, Judeo-Christian Ethiopia in the 1930s. He was, he was martyred. And may, may the blessing of the Almighty, the God of Abraham, Yisahak, and Yaakov, the God of the true black Israel and faithful Ethiopian and Hebrews at home and abroad and the elect Rastafari, be with his soul as well as with the soul of Trayvon, Trayvon Martin who also was murdered. Now, I found something to be very interesting. And this is why I th this was this was kind of like burning me up to to articulate this over the past couple of days, but I mused on it. I I I I allowed it to to bubble in me. I did a little bit of research on on the hood because one particular Idiot, and I have to say this this individual, you all know who this is. Some might even know who I'm about to talk about here before going even into the hood and any more depth. First of all, let's just get this straight out the way because some are looking for um, another so-called scapegoat instead of the obvious, instead of the fact that young Trayvon, a 17-year-old, young black african american was 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 murdered in cold blood it was a terrible terrible thing that happened and y'all all know that if the, if the if if the shoes proverb or the hoodie was on the other head and this was the reverse of what it is we would not have ones like um uh Hirado, uh, Rivera, Viagra, we wouldn't have this individual here speaking, actually blaming it on the hoodie, saying that it was the hoodie that caused young Trayvon's death instead of metastasizing racism and, 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 and the unclean spirit, an evil spirit that has chosen to, to, to blackmail <laughs> blackmail the black man, in other words, to criminalize the black man for being black. And the young black male, what, they, what did Bob Marley say? Kill it, kill them before they grow. Isn't that what Burhan Salasi Bob Marley said? Well, this is why we start out with um, Gerardo Rivera. This is why we show his particular face. And, and it's very important that you understand this. And let me um, bring up this next article that we were able to find that basically um, documents this. We have to document the fact of the matter, even before getting into the hood. Because, see, the hood and the hoodie, you see, words are very, very significant. And, and we might think that we understand all that we need to understand about the hood and the hoodie and the connection. Even when we say Judah and the line of the tribe of Judah, that is Yahuda, Yahud or Yehuda, Yahud, Jah's hood. So there's a connection with the lost sheep, with black folks, whether they choose to recognize it or identify themselves or remain lost.
And hopefully some of this will begin to awaken to awaken and, and to open the eyes, to open the eyes of, of the seeing blind, to open the eyes of the of the lost sheep. Now here's the article right here. Here's the article. Let's go to the the masshead where it says right here, at least the the title of it is is March twenty fourth, twenty twelve. And here it says Gerardo Rivera blames hoodie for Trayvon Martin's death. Now, Gerardo Rivera, Viagra, has, he's media Viagra, that's what he is. He's media stimulus. Because, of course, when most of the sane people heard this, that Gerardo Rivera, he blamed the hoodie, not his fellow Jew, Zimmerman, not his fellow um his, his fellow white man um this George Zimmerman but instead who who he's the one who, who he's the one who fired the shot he's the one who 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 followed and hunted this African American 17 year old youth and murdered him in cold blood and was not even arrested he he used the stand your ground law. Stand your ground is is when you're being attacked and and you're like in your own home, not when you're hunting somebody down. But black people, law sheep, wake up, wake up. This is just another very powerful sign, and and we have to utilize the opportunity to really speak on this issue and to try to get as much light and illumination on this matter, and the fullness of it. You understand, really pointing to who we are and then what lost condition we we are in. We are just like the Israelites, but we're in a spiritual Egypt. Now here, Gerardo Rivera, he added to the outrage over Trayvon Martin's death. I, I don't even like how they say it like that, Trayvon Martin's death. No, his murder. His murder. It wasn't his death like he just died. No, he was murdered. He's blaming Gerardo Viagra, media, Fox News, Viagra. He is blaming the hoodie. <laughs> Incredible? No, it, it, it's, 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 it's credible. You've you got to recognize this, this is what's going on. This is the madness. This is the insanity. And he speaks about it. If you watch the, the, the clip and everything, he speaks about it like he got some sense. Quote, I'm urging the parents of black and Latino. Notice something when you see black and Latino. Let's give out a pointer for a moment. Let me point this out. This is why we got the pointer right here. You see black right here? Black lowercase. Latino. You understand? Capital L. Well, it's obvious that um, George Zimmerman, he was what, part Mexican and part white or really part Jewish, just like this individual right here. And we got the proof. I know you thought he was Hispanic or Spanish. No, Gerardo Rivera is so-called um, Moreno, maybe a little Sephardic, but he's he's basically Jewish, and we and we have the goods. We have the goods to show you. Now we are also Hebrew. We are Hebrew. We are Black Hebrews. We are Ethiopian Hebrews. Elect Rastafari. You understand? We come from the very root, and we have the proof of the truth. However, let's go on to what. Gerardo, Fox News, Viagra says, he says, I am urging the parents of black, lowercase black, and Latino, capital L, Latino, youngsters particularly, not to let their children go out wearing hoodies. What? I think the hoodie is as much responsible for Trey Von Martin's death. He really means murder. You know, so we have to we have to keep that in mind. Don't don't let them fool you by the by the words and the spells and how they u use language to 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 distort and take the real emphasis off of the facts and off of the truth. But he says that he thinks that the hoodie is as much responsible for Trayvon Martin's death as much as George Zimmerman was. The Fox Fox news host said Friday on Fox and Friends. Hmm. 
What kind of friends do foxes have, huh? Anyway, it really should be wolf and friends or something like that. But, you know, the animals are good. But the human animals, you got to watch out for them. Now, Martin, or rather Trayvon, 17-year-old, 17-year-old African-American male, an endangered species, which was hunted down and murdered in cold blood, and his witnesses was not arrested, used a law, stand your ground, which did not even apply, even the ones who, who, who put that law through, the Florida legislature, they even said that this does not even apply to this particular situation. This is totally lawless. Trayvon, 17-year-old, was shot and killed. Rather, he was shot and he was murdered. Not killed. He was murdered February 26th in Sanford, Florida by Zimmerman, a neighborhood watch volunteer. Let me give you a little footnote on this neighborhood watch volunteer thing. Um, watching, what was it, um, uh, the PBS uh, News, News Hour. They had Tana Hesse, um, Cotes. He said basically that there's some information that that he wasn't even even uh, in good standing with that. That 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 the 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 main organization did not even recognize, you know, did not even recognize that he was even in good standing. But but he utilized this so-called authority. He overstand to lord it over. You understand the so-called black community, and you got some some real some real sick black folks like we saw on TV today. Check it out, CBS, CBS um, morning show with um, uh, who's that? Charlie Rose and um, the uh, uh, whoop, um, what's the name again? O- Oprah, Oprah's uh, BFF, um, Gail, you know. They they had this guy George Oliver, total liar. Everybody that's come out for this Zimmerman person have been a bunch of kooks. You know, what I'm saying people that really need to get their head examined. You know, this lying bold facedly, especially his lawyer. If you've seen some of the clips, want to do something on that? Hopefully, somebody else and others have picked up on that on that thread right there. But anyway, the teens. Death, really, is the teen's murder. You see how they keep trying to say killed instead of murder? You understand? Then they try to say death instead of he was murdered. You see how that keeps it very much to the facts of the case, that he was murdered. The teen, Trayvon Martin, was murdered. And the lack of arrest have sparked protests inspired a, quote, million hoodie march, end quote, Wednesday in New York, with hundreds of protesters, many of them wearing hoodies. Quote, Trayvon Martin, God bless him, an innocent kid, a wonderful kid, a box of Skittles in his hand. He didn't deserve to die, but I bet you money. If he didn't have that hoodie on, that nutty neighborhood watch guy wouldn't have responded in that violent and aggressive way, end quote, Riviera said. See, there's something sick about Riviera. To even say all of this, he's basically implying that something is wrong with this George Zimmerman acting in a violent a murderous, actually, murderous, a violent, aggressive, and murderous way. He explained that he tells his son, uh, Rivera, he tells his son not to wear a hoodie. Quote, when you see a kid walking down the street, particularly dark-skinned, like my son Cruz, 24, who I constantly yell at when he was going out wearing a damn hoodie or those pants around his ankles. Take that hoodie off! Exclamation point. He added, people look at you, and what's the instant identification? What's the instant association? It's those crime scene surveillance tapes. 
Every time you see someone sticking up a 7-Eleven, the kid's wearing a hoodie, end quote. Really? Really? Now, I want you to keep all this in mind. You know what I'm saying? In this, in this uh, hoodie lecture, you know what I'm saying? In our hoodie lecture here, Riviera continued, every time you see mugging, Notice he says he's not saying sometimes or there are times. He's saying every time. Notice how he's over-exaggerating this. He's nutty too himself, Gerardo Rivera, if the truth must be told. He goes on to say every time you see mugging on a surveillance camera or they get the old lady in the alcove, it's a kid, a kid. Notice a kid wearing a hoodie. He is justifying, Gerardo Rivera is justifying this murder, we have, to, we have to ask whether Gerardo Rivera is accomplice to this. You have to recognize that this whole styling yourself as a gangster, you're going to be a gangster wannabe. Well, people are going to perceive you as a menace, really, until the stars start to wear the hoodie, right? And, and it becomes a, but I'm going to show you some stuff with the hoodie. You know what I'm saying? Because we're going to trace the hoodie right back to the church, the, the medieval age, even to the ancient Ethiopian, the ancient Christian church, even further back to ancient times. And there was nothing gangster about wearing a hoodie. You know what I'm saying? That's like saying every time you see somebody wearing sneakers, right, and they're a black person, they're going to rob you and run away. It's, it's, it's like the same type of illogic as that. Well, people are going to perceive you as a menace. That's what happens. It's, it is an instant reflexive action. You mean it's, it's an instant reptilian. He means it's an instant reptilian action. Rivera followed up and follow up answer. Many who slammed him on Twitter saying, it's sad that I have to be the one reminding minority parents, minority, who, who the hell is this? Parents of the risk that comes with being a kid of color in America. Channel the rage, really. So that means that because we have some mad, crazy, perhaps even demon-possessed white folks, and, and some demon depressed black folks and, and, and Latinos and people of color. Therefore, they have to change to accommodate these mad, violent, aggressive, murderous people instead of confront them. I think we need to confront them. That same stand your ground can go both ways, people. And he noted, Raro, you noted, he said um, that there were some on his side. There were some on his side. Well, of course. I mean, come on. You're, you're nationally syndicated. You're a popular person. And there's some other people that probably are as, um, as um, myopic, you understand, um, as, as he is. So, of course, he says, uh, in the avalanche of criticism, how interesting that most minority moms – of course, the moms are traumatized. Read How to Make a Slave. The moms are, are, are terribly, we're talking about minority in the sense of black, African, American. Have you read Let's Make a Slave, How to Make a Slave? Of course, they would dismiss that, but we have the evidence every day. You know what I'm saying? We have the evidence every day. In the avalanche of criticism, how interesting that most minority moms, well, he says most, we know, already know he exaggerates terribly every time. Remember the every time point? He says they back him. They back me because they want their sons to live long and prosper. So he's saying that if they don't wear hoodies, let's look at some of the was. Was, was, was Sean Bell wearing a hoodie? You understand? I mean, was was Amadou Diallo, was he wearing a hoodie? Let, let, let's look at some of these cases that um, Abla Luima, was he wearing a, a hoodie? I mean, there, there are so many names. Uh, forgive me, people, you know, for not being able to keep up with all the names of of the of, of the innocent black men you know what I'm saying, that were murdered by either white folks, 
by police officers, whether black or white, Latino, they're acting like white folks because they're acting under the color of white folks. You understand the modern Pax Romana. And, and let's find out whether, you know, what's the real percentage? She is over-exaggerating. I mean, I mean, this is even Boys in the Hood, if you look at that movie. I think only maybe a couple of them had hoodies on some of the time in, 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 in the whole film. So they wore baseball caps. Is a baseball cap, a gangster thing. Is a T-shirt, a gangster thing. Is wearing jeans, a, a gangster thing. Come on, come on. This is just this is just plain nonsense. It's just what it says is it says that there are demonic, murderous people, and we have to accommodate the demonic, murderous people. That's basically what it says. In other words, get along to be along, and 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 here's. You know, here's 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 the clip. I don't know if it's gonna um, I don't know if it's gonna play right here, but maybe you know we can get to hear a little bit of it right here. If not, we'll just keep it we'll just keep it moving. But let's deal with one of the reasons why we think Gerardo Rivera backed this particular story. You understand? Backed this particular story. Plain and simply because it, it it really appears to be racially motivated. He he won't do this blacks and Latino thing. And true, there's there's many Hispanics who also are, are being um, treated like niggas, treated like black folks. You understand? Perhaps many times because of their complexion or because of the whole immigrant immigrant, you know, the immigrant phobia, as though the white man who rebelled from his his, his his king, when he came over here, it was not an immigrant, you know, was not an immigrant himself. But let's just get to, to, to the root of, of a Gerardo Rivera. I don't think this is going to play right here, but this is the article. This is, this, this, is the, uh, this is one of the articles where he blames, where Gerardo Rivera, he blames the hoodie. 